go. All right. Welcome to Arabella month three. This is the V block stars. We are making four of these. Um, again, we are using our new tool from this year, the two peaks in one six inch triangle or your Trirex or your goddess tool, whatever tool you use happily to make your triangles in a square. So the first thing we're gonna do is make triangles in a square. Now, um, the triangles in a square, both sides, both colors for the center have to be done with identical colors on the right side and the left side, okay? Timeless Treasures, their Tonga Batiks, it's a very good batik. Their color patterns here are fairly small. There is almost no difference between the front and the back, okay? So I didn't worry at all. Usually for these kinds of things, you wanna cut a right and a left. I just cut as many as I needed and kind of, you know, indiscriminately use them as tops or bottoms, you know? I didn't care because you can't tell whether or not it's the front and the back unless you are a professional fabric store owner. Okay. <laughs> so, um, fabric number seven, fabric number three, you're going to sew the green triangles to one side. When you sew, you start here, you come to the top, Press open. You're gonna add the other side. Pressing open. And what I like to do first um, is make one and then check the size that they're four and a half by four and a half. And that way I can make any adjustments to my seams before going forward, whether I have to take a bigger bite, whether I have to take a smaller bite. Um, those kinds of things, and then making sure that on my top, I have a quarter inch seam there for um, the seam allowance, so I get good points here and here, okay? So we are going to be making eight of each of these, eight and eight. Okay, next. Let's talk a little bit about two and a half inch strips and cutting two and a half inch strips. Uh, these are gonna be with the fabric. I've already cut mine for my sample, so these are half with the fabric. But you're gonna cut two and a half inch strips, two of fabric three, um, one of fabric six, and one of fabric seven. You are going to sew them together with a good quarter inch seam. Now, one of the things you can do is when you are sewing a good quarter inch seam, you really cannot tell until you iron out and measure to make sure that this is a four and a half, okay? Um, I like to sew, me personally, my two and a half inch strips a little bit scant so I ensure that this is four and a half or a little bigger because I can always trim down it is much harder when the block is smaller than you need to make things fit correctly so for example if I'm going to take one of them that I've already sewn and I find my square and a square trim tool I get to drop that into the center of my block and I get to look how these line up in the block, okay? If this was a little bigger than I needed, I could always trim down. Um, if it's smaller, I'm gonna have to take apart and re-sew, okay? Trim down instead of re-sew. <laughs> That's my little thing for today, okay? So, once I have my blocks here, how do we start cutting two and a half inch strips? Okay, measure from your seam. Do not measure from an edge or an edge because that depends on two things, whether you've cut this straight and whether this is a consistent 
so from here to here. But if you measure from your seam, it's like squaring from the middle, okay? So, there goes my ruler. Here is an odd thing that I do. Conventional wisdom has always been, I'll get it, is to square your side. And of course, if I'm right-handed, I'm going to put a line on the seam line and I'm gonna cut this side here. Now, to continue cutting, because I'm a right-handed cutter, I'm gonna to need to take my strip and flip it, meaning I've completely moved my strip. Make sure it's lying flat, and then start cutting from here, okay? But I've moved my fabric. Now, I'm doing this on a two and a half inch piece, but you can see it applying to everything else. And the bigger your piece, the more fabric you're flipping around and managing. One of the things that I like to do, and I'm gonna start on this side because this is actually the selvage edge where I started sewing my piece together. And if I lay this on here um, and I use this seam, you can tell that this lines up and then it goes off slightly. I know I'm cutting a two and a half inch strip, so this is gonna be two and a half by four and a half. I am going to cut off my selvage, meaning I'm leaving a half an inch here before my two and a half mark, and I'm going to cut. Now watch this. I'm gonna turn this around and trim the two and a half again. Line that up on the two and a half. That's my mark. And this is as if I cut off the selvage edge. I haven't moved this strip. I know that this is a square edge because I squared it with this. So I can just drop this on here, make sure that this lines up on the two and a half, that this lines up on the seam line, and I can cut. And I can continue to cut, lining up the T for my two and a half strips. I can also look to ensure that this is falling in that four and a half inch, okay? I'm gonna show it again with my other strip. See how that's uneven because that's the selvage, right? You can see that this is a little off. I know I'm cutting two and a half. I'm gonna go beyond the two and a half, right? To almost three inches, because this is my selvage anyway. I'm gonna cut there. I'm not gonna move this strip at all. But I'm gonna turn here, trim that up to my two and a half, and I know I haven't moved this, and I can start cutting my two and a half inches by two and a half, uh, four and a half inches. That's just a little weird thing that I do. So the less you move the fabric, the less shifting around in cutting. Okay. Once you have these, that of course you're measuring from the center. Oh, probably I should have said that I pressed to the dark, meaning I pressed opposite directions. I pressed to here and I pressed towards there. When I sew these together, I'm going to butt these seams, nest them up so they lock together before I sew my four and a half inch by four and a half inch. Okay, so you will be making uh, 16 of these. 16 of these four patches. Okay, so we've got our peakies, we've got our four patches. All we have left is the center, and the center is kind of fun. It is a what I call a modified square and a square. You are gonna start by making half square triangles they're gonna be two sets. You are gonna have brown and green, so that's five and seven, and brown and fuchsia, which is five and eight. You're gonna line them up, mark your center, sew on either sides, cut them apart, trim to two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Okay, now the fun part starts. Do I need two and a half inches by two and a half inches? Did I? No. These are trimmed. We're going to sew them in this layout. 
So when I am making something like this, especially in multiples, I'm going to lay my fabrics four, 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 four. And then I'm going to chain sew them together. Now, when I am working with something like this, where I'm going to make a four patch again, I am always going to start sewing from the center out. So I would grab these two top pieces, put them one on top of the other, and I'm going to sew from here to the, this is the middle, to the outside. Same thing here. I'm going to take these two bottom pieces, fold them together, sew from here to the outside. Now, I know that this is evenly matched even if this shifts slightly. The center is evenly matched even if the outside shifts slightly. I'm going to press to the same color so that the center nests when I line these up and look how straight that is because that's where I started sewing from, okay? This is a very straight seam to start on one side and sew to the other. And that is actually your four and a half inch by four and a half inch center. Again, you can always take your trim tool, check it out, see how nicely that falls in there? That's my center, squaring from the center, working from the center out, and I'm just checking to make sure that I'm not going to lose my points, that I have a good quarter inch from here to here on all four sides, okay? That's the center of my block. Now, this is a little bit exciting because we are putting to get them together as a nine patch. The corner blocks are going to be the four patches, everything shifting, with the darker ones to the outside, okay? This is your fabric seven, this is your fabric six, fabric seven to the outside. And now your peaky and spikes or your square and triangles go in. You're going to have the light ones on the top and the left, oops, other way. And then you're gonna have your darker ones on the right and the bottom. Okay, so be careful when you lay this out that these happen here and these happen here because it does make a difference in the final layout of the quilt. Okay, so you're gonna sew these together, top, middle, bottom, and then sew them together. You do want to check to make sure, see, I didn't do it before I showed you, that the middle is oriented correctly with these four things, okay? So if you look here, you have a pink and a green next to the green, and then you have the green and the green next to the pink, pink and the pink. I'm sorry, whoops, no, I've got this wrong. <laughs> I got these backwards. Okay, okay, can we yep. re-edit back? Okay, so let's go to laying out, okay. Yeah.